In this work, we build off the observation that by following contact formations through a constraint-based progression, we can better generalize tight tolerance insertion for non-cylindrical objects in peg and hole applications when there exists uncertainty in the position and orientation of the hole. Specifically, we rely on the passive adaptive properties of a compliant system to help modulate forces along certain axes. The end effector itself serves as a low impedance mechanism that limits the amount of force we can apply in certain directions. We monitor the state of the system via a six axis force torque sensor and an in-hand camera. To highlight this concept, we devise a linear pusher that applies forces in the X, Y, and Z directions respectively. By quantifying these forces and by noting how they plateau along certain axes, we use this information to inform contact formation switching. Moreover, this plateau helps limit the traditional concern for in-hole jamming during insertion. Our approach begins with a grasped object and seeking a single contact between the object and its environment, in particular, a Z contact force. Once this is acquired, an exploration procedure along the contact plane begins until a new contact formation is achieved, in our case, the target formation. This formation is found and then modulated for once a force along an orthogonal direction is achieved. Thereafter, the system continues to add constraints to the object's motion by moving in orthogonal directions. By continually adding and modulating constraints, the system maintains a certain contact configuration while searching for the appropriate orientational pose of the hole. Once found, the robot servos to the object into the hole by leveling out the object marker as read by the in-hand camera. We showcase our method on four total objects of less than 0.25 millimeters of hole tolerance, a cylinder, a pear-shaped prism, a triangular prism, and a rectangular prism. Note the similarities of the insertion process for all four objects. Since our method is object agnostic, it relies specifically on forces and the estimated contact formations during insertion. It has no knowledge of the object or hole's geometry. This provides for a generalized approach to insertion that leverages compliance for maintaining desired contact formations. A key focus of this work is our ability to successfully insert objects when the pose of the hole is somewhat unknown. Thus, our system must be able to explore a workspace before the insertion process begins. This exploration process is highlighted in this task using a commercially available children's toy. Note how the robot stays within the search workspace denoted in green and continues until the target contact formation is acquired. Once the general location of the hole is found, the object is rotated into position and inserted appropriately. Our method can also be extended to everyday objects included in the NIST assembly task board, particularly for gear and plug insertion. Note how during this process, the insertion sequence is identical to those previously presented, starting with exploration and moving through contact formations, underscoring the generalizability of our method. We would like to thank you for your attention and also acknowledge our funding sources.